Tonight's play is another in this dramatic series brought to you by New York City's largest selling beer, Rheingold Extra Dry. Good evening. Now, you don't normally expect to see a gun in a comedy, do you? Well, that's the strange thing about tonight's play in the Rheingold Theater. We think it's a comedy, and <laughs> I hope you'll agree, too. But one of the central characters is a man with a gun. Now, imagine two gangsters on the lam in a small western town. They seek refuge with an old lady known to one of them as Aunt Mary. Just about the sweetest little old lady you ever saw. Now, that, that could be a tricky situation, couldn't it? But instead, in, in the play which New York City's largest selling beer, Rheingold Extra Dry, brings to you, it turns into an exciting comedy called My Favorite Aunt. Well? We lost them. So relax. You think he died, Harry? Dying is too good for him. Cheating in a dollar limit poker game, how low can you get? Harry, if those cops catch us. Look, we was talking about that maiden aunt of yours. What's her name? Cecilia? Genevieve? What is it? Uh, Mary, Aunt Mary. How long's it been since you've seen this ancient dish? Well, I never seen her. Are you sure this dame will hide us out? I told you she would. She's been writing me letters for years asking me to visit her. Got one uh, just uh, two days ago. Made Nance say, give me the willies. Hey, do you know what a bad boy you are? No, she's been coming in. <laughs> Take it easy, kid. We're doing all right. Hey, you got any cigarettes? Inside pocket. What is this delicious smell coming out of your pocket? Lavender. That's Aunt Mary's letter. My dear little Jimmy, just a line to tell you everything is going along just about like always. Hey! My monthly dividend check from my investments... Investments? Stocks and bonds. That's what she lives on. Your honey is a smart cookie. That's the real security. You're back Harry. so much. Every morning I turn to the stock market page first. Even before the morning line. Some of those companies got real beautiful names. Affiliated, associated. Amalgamated. You can just smell the security. You know what I mean? Harry, half the cops in California are chasing us. How can you think of... Security. That's what I've wanted all my life. What a beautiful feeling to be knowing that you're sitting pretty, you're okay, you're all set. Look, what are we gonna do? You and those $64 questions of yours. You gotta stop, Harry. We're not stopping for nothing. We gotta keep a day with that sweet Aunt Mary of yours. Half an hour from now, we'll be sitting in your auntie's living room sipping sarsaparillas, and you wanted to throw in the sponge. <laughs> Schmo. Oh. Hey, what's with you? Oh. Hey, you can't do this to me, you lug. How can I take you to your auntie when you're full of bullets? Oh. She wanted to know where the bullets come from. Auntie's is inquisitive. She may even call a doctor. Oh. Hey, you're repeating yourself, kid. Jimmy boy, can you hear me? Now listen, was you leveling with me on this business about your auntie never having seen you? Look, what you need is a good hospital, a pretty nurse holding your hand, a blood transfusion, you see what I mean? Your buddy is gonna fix you up. Find you in a couple of minutes. You'll be okay. As for me, I'm going to pay a little visit on my favorite aunt. Thanks 
Excuse me. Now, this bus station was the only place I could find open. I'd like to find out where Mary Frazier lives. Why? Well, I'm a nephew. I come out from L.A. to visit with her for a while. Is that against the Constitution? She lives a mile out of town. Give her a ring. Have her handyman come and pick you up. Ah, oh, good idea. Just ask the operator for Mary Frazier. Yeah, yeah. Hey, mister. Yeah? How'd you get here? The bus from Los Angeles isn't due for a half an hour yet. Uh, some friends of mine were driving to Frisco. They give me a lift. Uh-huh. Give my regards to Mary and tell her to come out of hibernation. Yeah, I'll do that. I'd like to speak to Mary Frazier. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Uh, let me speak to Mary Frazier, please. Who's Carla? This is her nephew, Jim. Uh, who's this? William. William? I help Mary around the place. William? Oh, oh, yes, yeah, sure, sure. She's always talking about you and her letters. Uh, I'm down here at the bus station. I, I thought I'd pop in and pay uh, Mary a little visit. You know, Aunt Mary and me have never met. Uh, I thought I'd surprise her. Okay. I'll come and pick you up. Better hurry. So you're Aunt Mary's nephew. I'm very happy to meet you. To give Mary my regards? Sure. Uh, she said same to you, or many of them. Just why she hasn't been to town lately. I didn't have a chance to get one of that. She was so shocked. I mean, surprised to hear my voice. Mary and I have been friends for 20 years, even though she hasn't voted for me once. She was pretty excited to hear your voice, huh? Yeah. She sound okay? Yeah, fine. Say, um, there isn't any taxis in town. I'd be glad to run you up my car. Oh, thanks very much. Uh, William is on his way. Well, uh, say hello to Mary anyway. I haven't seen her for a couple of weeks. Uh, tell her I'll drop by tomorrow or the day after. Mighty fine woman you're at, Mary. Yeah, sure is. I should want to get a bus for Frisco, you know, in a couple 20 of days. 20 minutes after the hour, every hour. Do I have to come all the way back here to get it? Uh, could I flag it down on the edge of town? Sure. 20 minutes after the hour, huh? Except tonight, of course. Schedule's all cockeyed. These roadblocks. You must have been stopped on your way here. Yeah, we were stopped. They're still looking for those two fellows who shot that gambler in Los Angeles. Stopping everything. Buses, trucks. Everything coming down the highway. Of course, that doesn't concern you since you won't be leaving for a few days and... Mr. Frazier. Mr. Frazier. Come along, your aunt's waiting for you. Miss Frazier. Jimmy. Jimmy, we finally meet. Oh, come on inside. Let me get a good look at you. Oh, my, my, what a fine young man. You look just exactly like I always imagined you would. So do you, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Never had any little ones of my own. So I'm not going to lose the chance of spoiling a nephew. <laughs> Comfort, dear? Perfect. <laughs> oh, it's still a mite chilly in here, isn't it? No, not bad. Don't want you coming down with a cold. No, but I don't want that gas burner going all night either. I just don't think it's healthy. I tell you what. 
As soon as it's warm enough, you call out and Bill will come in here and shut it off. Jack? Did he get a chance to meet anyone or talk to anyone in the town? No, nobody. Oh, what a shame. Why? Well, we have so many lovely people here. <laughs> oh, well, there's time enough for that, too. Now, you get a good night's sleep. I can't tell you how wonderful it is for me to have you here. Under my roof, but not. Auntie, the pleasure is all mine. <laughs> good night, my dear boy. Good night. Good night. now. Yeah. I'm sorry I had to break the window. Oh, forget the window. You might have been killed. Ah, the good and hot. Yeah. I'm sure sorry, Mr. Jim. Mm. Now, I want you to drink every drop of this milk. It'll relax you. Settle you down after that nasty shock. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, now, promise. Every drop. Yeah, yeah, in, in, in a minute. I'm going to take some myself. I feel all trembly inside. Just all trembly. Oh, you poor sweet boy. I've waited all these years for you to visit. Now, the very first night this had to happen. That's right. Don't, don't take it so hard, Auntie. Didn't I tell you it was dangerous to sleep with the gas on all night? Didn't I warn you to turn the heater off? Yep, you sure did. Yeah. Well, drink the milk and try and get a good night's sleep. Good night, my dear boy. Yeah. Good morning. Feeling better, dear? Yeah, fine. You sleep well? Why get up? And drank all the milk? Every drop. See, I knew to make you sleep. Breakfast will be ready in ten minutes, dear. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Thing. That's what city life does for you. I'm going to fatten you up, young man, starting right now. You sit there and dig in. 
In a month's time, I have you so plump and pink, we could win blue ribbons with you at the county fair. I said, the other place. <laughs> You're sitting in William's place. Ham and egg is ham and egg. <laughs> yes, but William's used to sitting there. Lord, Mr. Jim, feeling better? Yeah. And he tells me I took your place. Well, what difference? Ham and eggs is ham and eggs. You took the words right out of my mouth. <clears throat> You're not eating? No, I, I lost my appetite. Hmm. Well, we're at the halfway mark of our story tonight, so let's use the intermission for another chat over another glass of Rheingold Extra Dry. You know, there are few things that keep pace with a man throughout the years. One of these is his knife. <laughs> this knife has come down in the world. Sometime in the past, it was some man's best friend, but now, <laughs> it's just my letter open. But, let me show you something. Here's the honey. Here's the one that I've loved all these years. It's my, my old scout knife. I remember how fascinated I used to be with all the different blades and gadgets that it had in it, like that. Still comes in handy, as a matter of fact, with uh, things like this. <laughs> as you can imagine, I have some uh, very pleasant uses for it. See what I mean? Now let me show you my hunting knife. You see, it's a real Bowie knife. Just the thing for a camping trip. Now compare this down to earth knife with uh, this vicious little Russian poignard as a hidden weapon that undoubtedly had some very useful moments in its lifetime. But the mysterious East supplies the most exotic blades of all. Now this one came from Egypt. And each one of the blades has Arabic hieroglyphics etched in with acid into the, into the steel. They say that uh, they're quotations from the Koran. Making knives and swords is a craftsman's job, calling for skills that have been handed down through the years. Uh, appreciation for fine craftsmanship is unlimited in scope. And to brew this fine beer, for instance, requires the same degree of uh, skill is you require to make any other masterpiece. And that's why the brewers of Rheingold Extra Dry call on their 116-year-old tradition to bring you beer as it should taste. And that's, that's why so many millions of us insist on this, on this one beer. And that's why, of course, Rheingold Extra Dry is the largest selling lager beer in the East. Well, now it's time to get back to the second half of our play tonight. One cigarette after another. It's this city life you've been living. All nerves and emotion. What you want, my boy, and what you're going to get is some good fresh air. Uh, Auntie, uh, I don't think I ought to go outside of the house too much. I got a kind of uh, sciatica. You know, it's not good to move around. Sciatica? I know what's good for that. You come with me. Come on. City folk can't seem to afford the luxury of just Sitting put, letting things slide, always on the go. Wearing yourselves out. Now sit down. Loosen your tie. <laughs> That's it, and your shoelaces. Go on. Always lacing and tying and fastening yourself up like a person with a package instead of a human being. Yes, Auntie. Now lean back. Now, fill your lungs with good, wholesome air. <coughs> Think of yourself as calm, peaceful, secure. Secure. Mm -hmm. I'm going inside now to do my housework. And when I come back, if I find you move one inch, I'll spank you. Big and all is ya. <laughs> I'm not sure that sun isn't a little strong. Better have this over your face. Just for a little while. 
Auntie. Yes? Um, the whole family knows how uh, clever you are about uh, stocks and bonds and investments. Uh, well? Uh, don't get sore, but uh, what is the name of your biggest investment? Well, I... Uh, just curiosity, you know. International Amalgamation Incorporated. International Amalgamation Incorporated. Yes. No kidding. Now, just you say... International Amalgamation Incorporated. Some joker is shooting at me. Oh, no. It must be those horrible hunters. Hunters? What is this, open season on people? I'll show them. I'm going to get in touch with the authorities, the mayor, the sheriff. Oh, the what? Well, it all was happening last month. They knocked out two upstairs windows. And the month before that, they hit the chimney. And now this. I'm going to get hold of the mayor and no, show... No, no, wait a minute, Arnie. Let, let's, let's, let's not get panicky here. But they might have killed you. But they didn't. That makes all the difference. So relax, relax. You talk about city people getting all upset. Now, you don't want to bother the sheriff or the mayor with a silly little thing like this. Well, we've got to do something. It just makes my blood boil. Oh, so do something. Signs. Signs? Yeah, we'll make some great big signs that say, uh, anybody caught around here with a gun gets thrown in a can. Uh, prison. You think that would help? Can't miss. Oh, but I think what might have happened. Well, don't think about it, Auntie. All right, we'll put up some signs. Now, you go and find William and tell him just what to do. He's out there working in the tool shed. You come with me, I'll show you. Okay. Now, you go right down that path, dear, and tell him exactly what you want, and tell him to start in immediately. All right, and you'll forget all about the sheriff and the mayor, won't you, Andy? You're just too good-hearted. Your father was the same way. Now, that's right, you keep straight on down that path. Don't you worry about a thing, Adi. We'll make some big signs that'll just... Now, 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 listen, listen. You gotta listen to me. I, I know why you're doing all this. Uh, you found out who I am. You, you think I bumped off your real nephew, but, 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 but...
ਹਾਂਜੀ proves of course that crime doesn't pay <laughs> but I do hope that we've succeeded in entertaining you you know it's very hard to find good stories the ingredients are always the same people in a situation and you can find them anywhere in fabulous cities like New York or in a small western town but you never know but when it comes to beer that's where New York scores because the best of all beers is found right on our own doorstep Rheingold extra dry of course <laughs> well, thank you for being with us tonight, and I look forward to seeing you in the Rheingold Theater again next week at the same time and on the same channel. Good night, and thanks.